Namaste everyone, this is Madhuri here from Madhuri Yoga. All of us are suffering from various health issues like PCOS, weight gain, anxiety issues, stress etc. So to deal with these health issues, we always tend to focus on aspects like diet and exercise. We also forget a very very important aspect that we need to focus on that is the sleep pattern that we follow. So we may have noticed that along with the various health issues, we also have irregular sleeping habits. We complain that we don't get enough sleep or we are not able to sleep on time or wake up on time etc. So in this video, I would like to cover 5 simple tips to have a better sleep. Keep watching. Welcome back. So we were talking about the 5 best ways to fall asleep better. So the first tip that I would like to suggest is yes, discipline. We need discipline in every aspect of life. So even with regard to sleep, we need discipline. We need to make sure that we are sleeping at the exact same time every day and we are waking up also at the same time. So as per Ayurveda, the best time to wake up for the human body is either at the time of sunrise or just before the sunrise. So on, on an average if we take that sunrise time of sunrise to be 6 a.m. So the ideal time to wake up would be 6 a.m. And ideally the human body needs 6 to 8 hours of quality sleep time. So this 6 to 8 hours sleep may differ according to body conditions and environmental uh, temperature. But ideally on an average we can target to have a, a sleep of 6 to 8 hours. So if we do reverse calculation we should ideally be going to bed by 10 pm or 11 pm. So to have a good sleep the first tip that I would like to suggest is to go to bed by 10 or 11 pm and wake up by 6 am every day. So this is your ideal sleep time. The next tip that I would like to suggest is to not sleep during the daytime. So we all have this tendency that we feel sleepy or we feel lazy during the afternoon and we tend to sleep for some time. But this sleep time cuts the sleep of our night and we tend to not fall asleep easily during the night time. So the best way to ensure that we fall asleep quickly as possible in the night time is to avoid sleeping during the daytime. Yes, for this as well there are exceptions that when we are sick, when we are ill, we want more sleep. So we tend to sleep during the daytime as well. But during the normal circumstances, make sure that you avoid sleeping during the daytime. The next tip that I would like to suggest is about our food habits just before we go to bed. The dinner time. So ideally, there needs to be a gap of one to one and a half hours between our dinner and the time that we go to bed. This allows the food to settle down easily in the body and it will not cause any kind of obstructions or un uh, uncomfortable feeling in your stomach when you go to bed. Also, we need to ensure that the dinner that we have is very light. It, we, need, we should avoid having too oily, the food that is too oily or too spicy or too heavy. So there is a saying that we all know that we need to have breakfast like a king, we need to have lunch like a prince and the dinner should be like a beggar. So follow this principle, have a light dinner and your dinner should be one to one and a half hours before you go to bed. The fourth tip that I would like to talk about is our use of electronic device. Yes, all of us have this tendency of scrolling through our social media just before we go to bed. Kindly avoid this. Why you would you may ask? So, if you see the physical aspect of it, the screen time, this light on the screen, it will affect our eyes and we may not get proper sleep. Secondly, when we scroll through social media, we see a lot of news, we see a lot of negative 
uh, news, we see a lot of negative articles, uh, negative updates which may affect us psychologically. So this may cause some kind of disturbance in our mind which will stop us from falling asleep peacefully. So the best method to follow is to stop the usage of your electronic device at least for an hour before you go to bed. I know it is difficult but once you make a habit out of it, it will become easy. The last tip, the fifth tip that I would like to suggest is to have a practice of gratitude and do a bit of meditation just before you go to bed. So meditation makes us calm and relaxed. Gratitude gives us the happiness, the thankfulness in our mind. So a person who is happy and calm always sleeps better. So make a habit of practicing gratitude. Think of three things that you are grateful for just before you go to bed and practice meditation for at least five minutes before you fall asleep. This will help you to relax and it will give you a better sleep. I hope you can follow all these tips. These tips are simple to follow. I hope you found this video useful. Please follow these suggestions that I have given and leave in the comments below as to how it is affecting your sleep cycle. Uh, we will be meet in the next video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.